you want a network to become better known, if you want your network to educate their network about you, to recognise opportunities, your job is to make it as easy as possible for them to do so. And to do that, you need to paint a picture in their mind's eye of someone they know. Whether it's by job description, whether it's by what they're experiencing at that point, whatever it may be. Now, Phil talked earlier about being pigeonholed. And I agree with Phil to a large extent about not being pigeonholed too much. But sometimes there's an advantage to being pigeonholed. If you're too much of a generalist, people don't know when to recognise an opportunity for you. If you know when to specialise and you can communicate that effectively, whether you're specialising in what you do, the expertise you deliver, or you're specialising in the industry or industries that you work with, or the job level, the job uh, title you work with, that helps the people in your network recognise opportunities for you. It helps them understand what you do. Not only does it help them recognise people, it helps them apply what you tell them about your job to those people. Because if it's not relevant to them directly, they're less likely to comprehend it unless they've got a hook to hang the hat on. So that's where being pigeonholed does help. But you can have more than one. When I talk about referrals, I talk about referral mix. A mix of the different referrals we're looking for. So my referral mix might include, for example, the, the professional services industry, even within that, pensions, accountancy firms. But I also work with pharmaceuticals, I work with women's networks. So these are all different referrals I look for. Now, when I'm talking to a man in the pharmaceutical industry, I probably won't talk about the work that I do with women's networks in the finance industry. But I'll talk more about the work that I do with GSK or something like that. So you don't necessarily have to have one generic message for your whole network. You know the person in front of you. The better you know them, the better you understand, the easier it is to explain the right things to them. And I'm not talking about boring people. I'm not talking about, you know, when people say, how's work? You don't go, well, I'm glad you asked that. Have you got half an hour? Let me sit you down. Here's, here's my new website. Let me take you through it page by page. But you can answer it with one sentence rather than, yeah, it's good or it's okay. Tell them about something you're doing that week in one sentence. If someone says to me this week, how's work? I say, oh, it's great. I spoke at the Royal Institution, you know, on Monday. That's a, such a privilege. Now, some people who don't really care what, how work is and are asking out of politeness might say, that's nice, and I know to move on. But others might say, so what were you speaking at? What was the event? And then I've got a door that I can walk through and start to educate my network a little bit more about what I do.